All right, we're talking about a unique customer code, one per record. Every customer record should have a unique customer code. You want to be able to refer to your customers with their code and go right directly to their record. Uh, it's very, very important. And one of the, I have a simple scheme for doing it to show you a, uh, a concept. It may not be the exact way you'll do it or the exact way anyone does it, but I'm going to show you a concept with this. The first thing we have to do is build a second file profile. We so far have VG customer. If I go into define files, that's the only one I'm going to see. This is VG customer. I need another file to store some unique numbers in. Numbers that I can keep on file forever all the time and know what they are and so forth. Keep control of them. So I'm going to clear the E so I'm not working in any file. Now I'll define files and I want to define a new file. And I, like I said earlier, I want to keep my file starting with VG underscore. We only have VG underscore customer now. Let's say I have VG underscore um, control. And by the way, why don't I spell out control? Well, it's long and why bother? I mean, I suppose I could. VG control, this is a very old kind of I'm an old kind of programmer guy where I used to use uh, modems and you want to save every character you could when your modem was going at 300 baud, 300 characters, you know, you would save everything. Rather than spell out the word control as you were on uh, CompuServe or something or the, the source, you would say just type control. And earlier programmers than I decided that uh, saving space on commands like move, they would the command would be MV, or copy, the command would be CP. Why type out COPY if your printer, your printout, is going to come out on paper and have to use up the extra characters and everything extra? It's got to be a shorthand. And before that, I'm sure that uh, Morse code uh, senders in the railroad did all sorts of shortcuts like this. But in any case, VG control is very plain to me what it means, and I do this all throughout my programming, and I'm sure that you do too. You make little shortcuts for longer names for customers and so forth. So, all right, here's a, here's a file that we're going to use as a control file. This control file, I am not going to give any kind of creation password to it. What do I want to keep in this um, control file? Well, why don't we say um, cust number or something? How about cust number? Spell it out like that. Um, and, it's, and this cust number, I want to be four characters long and a dot zero field. Dot zero, if you remember, means no decimal points after the decimal, after the dot, none. No, so it becomes an integer. It's not, uh, it, you couldn't store on, you know, in this number, even though it's four characters, you couldn't put one period two three in this field because it's, there's, there are no decimal points allowed here. You can't even put a decimal point in this field. So you would have to, you could put a one in this field or in the way we have it, you could put up to 9999 inside a four character dot zero field. Okay? And that's all we need, by the way, for this, for our, for our use right now. There's one field in this file, just one field. Press escape, escape. And I am going to exit out and say yes, create a, def a default screen zero for me. And I'll press escape, escape. Now I'm going to go right into that file, declare update and add into VG control. And I am going to go to, if there are no records in it yet, so I'll add a record. And on this first record, I want to start this unique number, this customer number, 1000. Start it at 1000. I'm going to save this, escape, escape. Takes me to record two, thinks I want to add more records in this file. I don't. This file will never have more records. I'm just going to constantly come to this first record and keep incrementing it. The very first time I use it, I'll get this 1000 and I'll change it to 1001. And the next time I look here, there'll be a 1001 and I'll get that and change it to a 1002 and so forth. It's an incrementing number. Generally, they're called control files. Well, how are we going to use it? Now that I've created the file, I want to show you how we're going to use it. And that is the way we've been doing it all along in the customer file. We've been taking a number, I've been picking it out of the area like 0000, or here, you know, if here's 1000, I take it and I smash it up against four characters of the record. And I have been doing it against the, like here's Acme 1000. I have been sort of typing in the first four characters of the company name and then putting some number next to it and hoping that I'm not ever getting a unique number. Obviously, there are three Acme records in this file. I wouldn't want to have an Acme 1000, an Acme 1000, and another Acme 1000. I want to make sure it's unique. The only way to do that is within FilePro's processing, and I'll show you how to do that in the next record.